We're going to begin with a warning to Israel from America today. Every day, you know this, we see images like this after bombings where civilians are killed, the Israeli military's effort to destroy Hamas. Now, more than two months into the Israeli-Hamas war, President Biden is publicly asking Israel, please restrain yourself. One of the president's top advisors is in Israel right now to get an idea of when this destructive bombing campaign might end. Rami Innocencio is in Tel Aviv with more on the story. Rami, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Gail. Yes, there are words and there is action. Right now, the talk is Israel may ramp down its strikes on Gaza in the next few weeks, but fighting at a lower intensity could last through much of next year. A warning, the images coming up are graphic. Carrying a bloodied boy, this man yells, where is the ambulance? What stood here in Rafah were two homes, now leveled by an Israeli strike. Hamas claimed dozens of civilians were killed. America says it's against Israel targeting civilians, said the survivor, but civilians are being targeted. With deaths in Gaza now just shy of 19,000 men, women and children, according to Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry, President Biden is again pressuring Israel for more restraint, more surgical, more precise military strikes. I want them to be focused on how to save civilian lives. Not stop going after Hamas, but be more careful. In Israel, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan made the case. The issue here mm -hmm. is about when the transition from a high-intensity operation to a different phase of this campaign takes place. That should happen in two to three weeks, two U.S. officials now tell CBS News, but followed by lower levels of bombing for several months. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took to the airwaves after, saying, I told our American friends, we are more determined than ever until Hamas is eliminated. Israel's military released new footage of what it claims are terrorists killed in a major tunnel and hailed the surrender of about 70 alleged Hamas fighters, while Palestinians mourned in the West Bank town of Jenin after Israeli raids killed about a dozen people. This Israeli soldier sang into a mosque microphone a Hebrew song linked to Hanukkah in an act of religious desecration, which Israel's military condemned. And today, Jake Sullivan is in the West Bank to speak with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. President Biden envisions a revitalized Palestinian Authority governing Gaza, but Prime Minister Netanyahu here says that the, he will not allow that to happen as long as he is Prime Minister. Nate. Ramian Osensi on Tel Aviv, thank you.